Right, welcome to Fish with Bish, five minute Friday at five o'clock. What we're talking about today is uh, watercraft. So basically, if I came, if I came along to the fishery and I saw this peg here, what I would like By the way, this is number two, a Bells Mill fishery. So, as you look out to this side, you've got all these reeds. It's a bit messy, to be honest, to, to fish unless you've got a pole. If you've got a pole, you should be okay. But, if you look to this side, you've got a little outlet pipe there, and you've got all this cover here. But there's a lovely little gap round about there. So if you move round, we'll have a look. So as I say, you've got this little outlet pipe here. And you've got this little clear section here. Quite easily fished from that, from that, uh, that peg there, which is peg two. You've got all that lovely, lovely cover there. Open water in front of you. See, so look, you're thinking to yourself. You should be thinking to yourself. If I've got my, if I've got my feeder rod, I could feed to the island. And if you look, there's all the lovely straight edges across that island there. But here, you've got close in. In front of you, you've got all that lovely open water. All you need to do is use your watercraft and find the depths and find where all the snags and that are. Um, you've seen me on the bank uh, telling you about watercraft. Well, just to give you a little bit more of an insight and a little bit easier to understand, uh, I've put this little thing together here. So let's so so you turn up on the bank. This is sort of relevant to a river. But it's also relevant to a uh, commercial. So you've got your near bank where you're sat. So there's there's Bish sat on the bank there, and there's the opposing bank. So let's just say, for instance, we're on a canal lake. So first of all, what would encourage me to fish this this spot would be initially, if this is all there was, uh, initially it would be looking at this bare bank on the opposite side because it means if that's been eroded away especially if it's on a canal lake that means the fish have been there you've also got this small one here and you've got other options you've got overhanging stuff here so if you imagine on a normal a normal lake it would go shallow to deeper to shallow you'd have your little holes and things like that in the in the lake that you could uh, fish to but initially what you're looking for there is far bank if you look at that the fish are feeding there and they have been feeding there so there's the first one second one you got other features so a bit later on in the match or a bit later on in the day when it gets a bit warmer you should be looking at these these banks here to go in the margins You've seen me fishing the margins quite often, it's, it's probably my favourite way to fish. But when I turn up at a lake, I'm also looking for other features. And other features that you could possibly have would be an overhanging tree. Especially with a pole, you could get underneath. Here's his pole. So basically, if let, let's just take a step back slightly, because I've just introduced the pole. So you could fish there over to there that would be a shallower point there that that would be where I would start off also you've got directly in front here then you've got the banks to the left and the right and as a, I've just introduced that tree it hasn't grown that quickly but you could go to there other features you should be looking for you could have lily pads fish hold up underneath lily pads obviously your best bet is to fish on the edges uh, quite a strong elastic required so you can pull away and get them out of there quite quickly. Margin fishing again, stronger elastic so you can get them away from the edges because you're going to get bigger fish there as well. So 
other other features that you could possibly come up against in a commercial would be an aerator. Uh, fish hold up underneath aerators. You should be looking for all these kind of things. Obviously, you're looking to plumb the depth, and as I say, you will have a shallower going to deeper and then shallowing up. But underneath the water, you should also be looking for rocks, stones, flat areas, gravel, sand, all those kind of things. So. Thank you for watching Fish with Bish. That's just a very, very quick uh, five minute Friday. So look out for more of these on a Friday at five o'clock. Hints, tips, just five minutes. They probably might go over now and again. Look out for this again. There's me. That's Fish with Bish there. Um, look out for this on further videos because I will be using it again to try and illustrate a little bit more how I catch my fish, where I catch my fish and what I'm looking for what swims I'm looking for, should you be fishing and what areas so thanks very much for watching Fish with Bish we'll see you on the bank, thank you for watching, bye bye